Adam Stokes has a Master of Divinity degrees from Princeton Theological Seminary and Yale Divinity School as well as a Bachelor of Arts degree from Duke University. Today Adam continued his writings on the 5th century connections of the prophet Jeremiah and the Prince of Judah, Mulek, to Phoenician seafarers. The ancient world's greatest shipbuilders made it possible for Jeremiah, the Old Testament prophet, to come to Ireland and for the heir to the throne of David to come from Ireland to North America. The Irish have historic traditions that recount that soon after the burning of the first temple Jeremiah and the daughters of Zedekiah came by sea from Egypt to Ireland. Their accounts are important for the history of British royalty. We know that the Irish monks were literate and that they have kept some of Europe's best records over the last 2,000 years. With Adam's help, we plan to open up direct communication with Irish scholars who will have more to tell us about Jeremiah's life and death in their homeland. The Phoenicia on the Mississippi is the physical evidence that allows us to understand how the Prince of Judah came to North America about 575 years before Christ. We note with interest that Adam has lectured on Jeremiah at St. Joseph's University, a private Jesuit university, in Philadelphia. He has personal contacts with Irish scholars who have more to say about the life and death of Jeremiah. Here is the latest writing from Adam Stokes. Please take note. He is certainly pushing the frontier of ancient knowledge and we are so happy that Adam is ready to help us. Begin text. Biblical history exists in the most unexpected of places. Take for example Ireland, a place never explicitly mentioned in the Bible, though possibly alluded to in Isaiah's reference to the Isles across the sea. Ireland is rich in biblical history. New Testament manuscripts written in Gaelic, or Irish, stem from some of the oldest textual traditions. As many biblical scholars have noted, Irish New Testament manuscripts may contain earlier readings of scriptural passages than one finds in some of the more popular Greek and Latin manuscripts often cited. However, Ireland's role in biblical history goes much further back than the New Testament textual traditions in the centuries immediately following Christ. Popular biblical figures visited Ireland over half a millennium prior to that time as seen most notably with the prophet Jeremiah. Several of the sepulchral and cairn-type mounds found throughout the country and which are remarkably similar to some of the Native American mounds found in North America claim to be the final burial place of the prophet. Furthermore, Irish written and oral tradition attest to the presence of Jeremiah, known as Eabainal, in Ireland around 580 BC with another man known as Nemui. This Nemui is often described as a king-slash-chieftain and is likely Mulek the son of Zedekiah the last king of Judah. The Phoenicia a replica of a biblical-era ship which traveled across the Atlanta several years ago, provides firm proof that voyages from the Near East into Europe and even America occurred thousands of years ago. The Heartland Research Group has brought this relic of biblical history to us through the Phoenicia Museum. Now, in the months ahead, it will direct its vision back overseas to Ireland in an effort to learn more about the final years of Jeremiah and the royal remnant that traveled with him. Stay tuned as this story will develop more from Irish sources and places. We think that this connection from the Bible to America will become a clear witness of how the people of Israel are found in history in the palm of God's hand.